Hey everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner for those joining us for the very first time. Welcome y'all, welcome. My name is Orlunda and for the Sway Fam, hey guys, how you doing? So, um, today we're playing around with foundations and we're doing a foundation review. I've got my beauty blender dandy already and I've done my eyebrows and I've done my my eyes already just we don't waste time because we're testing foundation the foundation we are testing today is the Yardy London 24 hour stay fast foundation it's for a combination to oily skin 24 hour wear matte coverage oil and shine free and ESP SPF of 20 um, it says that it's flawless matte finish no transfer high coverage lightweight feel with vitamin e and amino acids and moisturize and hydrate as well it also says you must shake before use 30 ml i got two shades the price of them was 194 but they were on sale so i got them for 74 dollars each that's why i ended up buying two also i couldn't find the shade and i was like ah since it's only 74 bucks let me see how they go it's part of the black friday um sale at foshini so they were off half price right so um this is d7w and this one is d5w so i'm going to shake them because they shake before using we're going to test them quickly and then we'll see because i keep wondering you know like you don't really go out and buy oh he <laughs> he um oh dark seven warm yeah i thought so d7 warm and this is d5 warm um let's try d7 warm first it has a, it's a pump let's see how that is on my skin take a nice clean brush are you seeing that Not bad. Now we're doing D5 for warm as well. It seems like D5 is darker than D7. And this here is D7. I mean D5. Why do I feel like D5 is my, my actual shade? Not that I can't, you know, I bet if I can blend this out it'll also work, but this looks immediately like my shade. Oh, it's a bit darker. Okay, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to apply both shades on my face. I'm going to do D7 on this side and D5 and then you let me know which one is my actual shade. I also bought their primer so I'm going to use the primer. It is the illuminating primer. It reduces the appearance of fine lines, extends foundation wear. It says gently pat onto the skin before applying foundation. It doesn't give you extra stuff. It's very cool. It was, I got this one free. Like buy two, buy three. I only pay for two. On top of already the, the cheap price that I got them for. It smells like lotion, like a face lotion, it really, really does. So, this pit. Okay, so we'll start with D5 on this side, put it there so I don't mix them. Oh, wait, it says shake. I'm going to use the blender. Seems a little bit too red for me though. I don't know from here. But again, you must tell me. Because sometimes it could just be all my lighting. That's D5. And do another pump. That's 
D5. Hmm. Okay. Now for D7. Shake, shake, shake. That's a lot. I'm going to the clean side of the blender. Yeah, I used a lot immediately. I'm gonna take some off because that's a lot. Okay. So. Just a reminder, D7, D5. For me, D5 is darker and D5 is, D7 is lighter, although the undertone almost looks similar. So, those are the two shades. I can actually see like this is light and this is a bit dark. So let's go forward and just highlight like we would normally do. I'm going to, yeah, let's just use Maybelline. So I'm going to highlight with Maybelline like I normally do. Then with the beauty blender, the same beauty blender, I'm just blending out this area. And then I'm just going to go into the lighter one, just for the area that I really want to highlight, and do that. Just there. Again, same blender. And then I'm going to contour using Revlon Candid. This is in the shade 560 Cocoa Espresso. Putting it here so I can have better control. But this is a very, very dark. So I don't want to do too much. That there is enough. I'll do the same there and just a tad bit there and there same blender again but I'm using the tip and I'm just blending it upwards you know bouncing it in and up at the same time that's why you use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way and you don't want to lose control over blending and because it's already so deep you don't want to overdo the whole thing so much you know so there we go And then on your forehead, you tap and then you go like that towards the face. Because that's the area you want to blend into your makeup so that there are no demarcation, there's no demarcation between your lace almost and the foundation on your face. And I'm tapping on my lace a little bit just to darken it as well so the blend can be more smooth. 
So now we're going to set and I'm going to use, oh, I've been using that a lot, but I'm going to use it again. Gosh, prime and set. This poor blender, same blender. In there, tap it up. And this is in the shade banana. I'm just going to get areas because that is a lot. And I'm just going to blend it in there. People who are still going to go and do their eyeshadow, the, it would be best to leave it a little bit. To leave a little bit here just in case you have some runoff from your, you know, from your eyeshadow. So you want to leave a little bit in that area so that everything that falls, falls right on top of the powder and not on your face ruining your, your makeup look. So far this foundation is holding up very nicely. I like it. I'm going to use this powder. A big brush and just try and go into certain er these areas just a little bit I'm just tapping my forehead that's all I'm doing tapping I'm trying to do a very soft foundation thing. I'm going to go in with a blush from Smudge. That one there, it's not shimmery blush like I like. So, but it is subtle and yet it will show up just lightly. I'm just using the end of my brush, like the one side of the brush, and tapping it on. I'm going to, I want to darken, bronze my cheek a little bit. So I'm going to go into that browning there, the same brush, just lightly. And see if I can get a little bit of my contour to show up. Almost like a cool brown though, it's not like a warm brown. But I'm just gonna do that because I really want it to like show up just a little bit and then with the leftover do that right and then I want a very soft um, highlight so I like mm, something like I like that brown there so I'm going to use that I'm going to use a small brush a blending brush going to that and just tap it off and try and go just a little bit I love a good highlight like soft glam for who because I like a good highlight because we're going soft glam we're not doing a lot just enough for the pop to show up, but not too much. Mind you, I'm literally in swipey mode. I'm trying to get just above my just beneath my eyebrow in that area key there. Do the same on the other side. See, very subtle, but it's there. And we're almost there though. love the way the foundation is adhering to my face it's literally as lightweight as they say it is I don't like the way this gray looks because we're going to settle so I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal La Chocolat and I want to remove I'm just gonna go over
because I like the way that they come together. So this is the final look with the Yardley foundations. I think they did good. Like probably going to be a video about how we are sleeping on Yardley because I love the matte finish. I still don't know what color is my I think yeah it's, it's, it's like the one that suits me best because I think both of them really came through very beautifully I, and I like how subtle this is even though the hair is blonde it's still like a nice subtle look and you can it's just pretty I love the way that it looks I like that the, everything is like really like it's like it's like a day but not like ah oh, in your face it's like a real beautiful subtle makeup look a little bit of gel down my hair but who's like counting and it looks very beautiful and i really like it um so what are my final thoughts on these foundations guys i think we are sleeping on these foundations um this is d5 and that's d7 I think we are sleeping on this too far on, on Yardley's foundations because this is beautiful. It's not overly matte. It is just like it's there. But not, you know, like you forget you want to fall asleep with makeup on your face. That's how light it is. You know, usually you can feel all the makeup that you've put on your face. And this time it's not so bad. And it's, I mean, like not that it's so bad, but it's really good. And I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it makes my face look. Tell you like can you still tell what foundation I'm wearing on which side after all the blending that I did can you still tell that there's a two different separate foundations that I'm wearing can you still tell because I can't and this soft glam is giving me life it's really giving me life and it fits with the blonde it's gonna get me happy like cheers people cheers like it's beautiful I like it so oh, yeah, it was that top. So there we go, D5, D7, and on my face, I have two shades. This is really like beautiful. I don't know how long it will keep on my face. I will not test that out. I refuse. It's like late at night, probably like midnight already. So I'm not doing that. So this is really, really beautiful. I like the way that it has come out. I love the way the blonde hair looks on this look, and it looks really, really pretty. And I can't complain much. So you must just tell me how you think about it. Um, it's for their primer. It's the same as almost every primer that I have. Most of my primers are matte. But it's not as matte as my all women primer from Fashini. This is matte matte. It's not as matte. Um, that This enemy just tells you that it's for makeup to stay. It doesn't tell you that it mattifies your skin. It just it, uh, reduces the fine lines and then extends foundation wear. But do you talk about matting your face? which is really really cool because then like, it complements the foundation um, because it is matte and so combination to oily skin people because of the madness of course it's like you're gonna go matte for like people like me who are like dry skin but i like the way that it feels like it doesn't make, make my skin feel very very dry you know like i feel like oh my gosh like the nyx it's not like this nyx this nyx with a matte primer like the one from um foshini the old women by foshini that one you can really feel how matte it is like all the amount of powder that i did i wouldn't have done with this in my ex because you don't even have to do the powder thing literally that's how matte that foundation is but it looks really pretty and i love this look i could literally go out and have a great time but you guys let me know what do you think please don't sleep on foshini in their sales i'm just gonna put you out there and like the plug if i ever give you a plug this is like one of the plugs if you are looking for a new foundation and you are a person who wants to buy foundations don't overlook the prices of Fushini because their makeup products sales are is the ones or are the ones literally they'll beat this scam and they'll beat clicks once they get to their like sales like this black friday sales this like i said they usually go for 194 but i bought each one for 74 dollars because there was a markdown and with the buy you buy three and you only pay for two basically that so that was really cool i was really happy with that and most of the yeah, product ranges brands that are like um 
makeup products that are on sale you must buy the foundation as part of their sale but it's so beautiful i'm so happy i usually wait for black friday to buy this yardy because i wasn't going to spend like 194 because i was like every time i went in the shop and i looked at their foundation i was like i don't know about but the foundations fit me but they do and they look so pretty and i never know which one is which right now <sighs> that's how good i feel maybe it's just the hair maybe it's just the hair because hey blonde girl you rock but anyway that is basically my review of these two of the foundation and yeah go out there and try it please don't wait too late until those prices are gone let me know if i belong to you because it's the one and this soft glam is pretty beautiful very like bridal also um yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and then subscribe to the channel also don't forget to share it with your friends happy holidays i'll see you guys in my next video